Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, you are watching Katie Lou, and Katie Lou is the Ephraim Sculpt by Melody Hess. Guys, um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you smash that subscribe button and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, it is great if you could share this video, leave me a comment. I do read all comments. Um, I am working on trying to reply to them. I do reply to some in video as well. And also, guys, don't forget, tonight we will be doing Q&A in the Chatterbox. I will put up a reminder. If you want to join the Chatterbox, you can do so by clicking the link in the description bar. Guys, and also, last but not least, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is the same as this, Miss Serenity Smith. So make sure you click follow when you go on there. That way you will see little things pop up in the feed as I post pictures of my babies. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit just to get a little closer. Let's do a close-up really quick of Katie Lou. And then I am going to zoom back out so you guys can see. So I've decided that um, she is going to wear these little socks. <laughs> and I'm going to see if she can fit these little shoes. And I'm going to see if it works with this dress and stuff. Okay? She has been wearing this for so long because I have not been able to take it off of her. And then I gave her this pacifier because I was like, oh, this it was already clipped. so And it fits so nicely in her mouth. It is slightly modified. Slightly modified. Clipped. Um, so, let's get started. Um, a lot of you guys seen the video yesterday. And I guess some of you guys actually listened to the video and some of you guys just read the title um, because that was kind of funny. I was laughing at the, um, I was laughing at the, um, uh oh, sorry. Oh no. I was laughing at the, the, um, comments because I was like, they didn't listen. So everybody was saying, you know, congrats to the new mommy and all this stuff. And, you know, about sorry about, you know, they hate to see Noah go. But the video was basically answering a question and talking about a baby that I got rid of a long time ago. So Noah is still with me. <laughs> and even in the video, I said that I don't think that I would let Noah go. So, interesting enough. Sometimes I, I I do look at that as like, you know, I try not to make that mistake too because sometimes I'll start commenting early on because in videos, when I look at watch other people's videos, because I forget what I have to say by the end of the video. So I begin to try to, I try to comment as I go. I love her lips. I don't know if I'll be able to do those, that lip, those lip color again, but I really love the lips and the inside of her mouth um but but yeah so I thought that was kind of funny um that a lot of people were saying that but I I do I'll and then I try to like if it's something that you know I feel really strong about I'll try to make sure I wait to the end and hope that I remember to see if they answer my question in the video but you know I know we all be on time Rushing, listening in between work, stuff like that. So I just wanted you guys to know Noah's still here. So um, little Miss Katie Lou, let me tell you a little bit about her. She is 20 inches. She's on a custom body. This is um, what I call the ethnic body, chocolate. I think anytime you put a baby on a body um, that is totally off and not or not trying to match their skin tone, I think it works because it just almost looks like the baby has on a onesie or something, like, you know? Um, so I like that. She does have, everything is getting caught onto this pillow. Come on, babe, I'm sorry. Okay, the lace, everything, her earrings, her bracelet, she's too glammed up. So anyway, so she does have the the little this. 
Now she, her weight is very fluid. And I did that, and it, you know, it says Miss Rennie Smith Babies on the back. The, I did that because when she was weighted with the other body before, she was like fatter, but I felt like she, she felt nice, but she wasn't as fluid as I like my babies to be. And when I say fluid, meaning I like for them to just fall, like naturally. And so sometimes you have to do a little less weight in certain areas for that to happen. Oh, slide up, baby. You're out of the picture frame now. Okay. <laughs> She's a mess. Come on. Try it. All right. So let's put her on this onesie. This is a, I think, one, zero to one month. So it, it still looks kind of big. And it does have a snap over here on the side. So she is going to get rooted at some point. But of course I sent out all my babies that are sold first. Um, during downtime I will send out babies, my personal babies to be rooted. But she has not been rooted yet just because everybody else has taken her place. So every time she gets ready to go... I end up having a, another baby that I've sold or going to sell and I just send that baby instead because I can wait um, you know I think she's adorable as a ball baby and as a hat baby when I took her to the show last year the doll show a lot of people were saying I wouldn't root her I'll just leave her like that but you know black babies have a lot of hair like they're born with a lot of hair like my grandbabies, as little as they they were, they have a head full of hair. Like their hair is full. Um, and um, and they were born early, so and they still have a head full of hair. So you know, it's just custom that we're used to um, our babies having a head full of hair. And I've heard a lot of people make the statement of saying. That's too much hair, you know, for a baby. Well, not for black babies. Now, the hair along down their back, no. But thick and full, wavy, straight, um, typically. Normally, they're not born with super curly hair. If they do, a lot of times that means their hair is going to be a, a lot more coarse as they get older. Sometimes not. If, they, if their parents have just naturally curly hair then maybe so but usually if it's the big locks of curls it's gonna be it's not gonna be coarse but if it's the tight curls it's gonna be coarse and coarse hair is not bad a lot of people you know be like oh you know some people refer as nappy hair um nappy hair or coarse hair is not bad because we're able to do where did I do it yourselves Lots more styles with coarse hair than thin hair or, you know, very silky straight hair. We are able to, you know, hold our braids better. Haircuts look more nicer. It's just a lot of different advantages to coarse hair. I have very coarse hair. And growing up, I always had very full coarse hair. Um, nice, thick hair. And the hairstylist always loved they always love playing in my hair. My hair and my eyebrows. Oh my God, she looks so adorable in that. I have to, the camera needs to come from this angle in order for you guys to get the gist of it. But don't worry, I'll take pictures. You know me. You know I'm, I'm gonna take pictures. But let me get her shoes on. These shoes, the pink is not the right pink. They're off, the pink is off a little bit, but it doesn't matter. And they might be a little big too. Because I actually thought I was buying these for a toddler. <laughs> but I don't be doing the sizes when you buy from overseas. Okay. Yeah, I did not want to. Oh, yes, girl. Look at you. 
Oh my goodness, I see why y'all be putting these babies on shoes. That just made her whole world pop. Now, I'm not gonna, I was gonna put her on a hat, but I don't think a hat is appropriate with this. I think she needs on a girly headband. I don't know about you guys. And I'm thinking, should she put on a white headband? Cause I have, let me see what I, headbands I have down here. I have different headbands. I have pink, which is another pink, which is not gonna be the pink, match the pink. I have different pinks. Of course we got different pinks, we got plenty pinks. Got a white, I like the white. Huh, maybe we'll go with the white. I have a white with a, just a flower on it, but I don't, I don't know that I wanna do that. I think I wanna try the, the lace, this, to match her socks. I don't know. Should I go there? Or... Guys, let me know in the comments which one headband you like the most. And that's the one that she will take pictures in. Then I have this one, which kind of have white and pink in it. Oh, I'm kind of kind of liking that. Maybe put it to the side like that. Um, I didn't want to really necessarily put her on a hat. Do I have a stylish hat? I do have a stylish hat somewhere. Hang on. I want to try, I don't know what I did with the headband. I can't find it fast enough, so I'm not gonna, but I do have a white headband. And then I have a hat. So let me know what you what you think guys headband hat I don't know and then where's her pacifier now she has different pacifiers I have a let's see she has this pacifier she has She has this pacifier. Look at you, baby. Come through, mama. <laughs> yes, honey. She might even can fit this pacifier, even though, but that it may take some work. I put that pacifier in. It may take some work. I ain't gonna go through all that right now. But yeah, I I think I like. I think I like it. I think I like it. She probably, this probably can go right in without a, without clipping it. Yeah, I just need to put something on it, but yeah, that'll go in. But we ain't gonna do that dark pink. So, I really like no pacifier or that pacifier and Either the hat, or I'm thinking this one kind of did the trick. So y'all let me know. But we'll talk. I'm going to um, go now. Oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute. Let me see if I can get, get a better view. Turn this way so they can, so TTs can see your shoes. Mama done got you some shoes on. Mama done, Mama showing out with them shoes, honey. Yes, she did put you on some shoes. Them, no, 
Don't no babies wear no shoes in my house. <laughs> Hell, me and Gabby don't even wear shoes. <laughs> what y'all think? Boom. <laughs> All right, later.